Today, the message is entitled, Listen to Them. Who are they? The Bible says in Proverbs chapter 1 and reading from verse 8, My son, hear the instruction of thy father and forsake not the law of thy mother. Friends, family members, viewers, God wants us to listen to our parents and follow the instruction, especially when it is according to God's standard. Today, we see a lot of looseness, disrespect in the home, outside of the home, shown to parents by their children. It's quite disturbing because, you see, when you refuse to listen to your parents and follow the guidance, the good guidance that they are giving you, you will be a victim of failure. You will be a victim of violence. You will be a, a, a prospect for the prison. You will be a prospect for the block. You will be a prospect for teenage pregnancy. You will be a prospect for failure. But when you listen to your parents as they guide you in the right path, I am certain, young man, you will be different. Young woman, you will be different. I, I believe that Somebody is listening now and they're saying, my life could have been different if I listened to mommy or daddy. So don't forsake the laws, the, the little curfews that mommy say come in at a particular time. Don't forsake the, the little laws where mommy say don't be on the phone at a particular hour. Don't forsake the laws where mommy say stay away from particular friends because you see, when mommy plays the laws and daddy gives instructions that are according to God's standard, once you follow the path, it guarantees that you will make mommy and daddy proud. You will glorify God. So today, I just want to encourage everybody to be obedient to their parents, even adults. Let me just stick that right there. Sometimes our parents invest so much in us and we become men and women in society of stature. Men who are, and women who are successful and then we forsake our parents. They are struggling and we just turn our backs on them. God is saying, hey, do not be ungrateful to your parents. Do not be ungrateful to your father. Do not be ungrateful to your mother. Your father may have been absent. Yes, your mother may have forsaken you. Yes, but you can be different. You can show them even though you have failed me. I will not fail you. I will still show up for you. When the money is low, when the sickness arrives, when the food is low as your son, as your daughter, I will be present for you. So let us listen to the instructions of our father and obey the laws of our mother. Because this is what God expects of us. Let us pray. Father in heaven, at this point in time, I come before you in the name of Jesus. I lift up a son, a daughter, who think that what the parents is getting now, they deserve it. I pray to God that you will soften their heart. Help them to understand even though their parents have failed them, that they don't have to fail their parents. They can show their parents, Mommy, Daddy, you have failed me, but today I am showing you I still love you. Because of you, I am in the world. You may not have supported me financially and emotionally, but I'm happy that God had kept me to make me the man or the woman that I am today. And as a result of that, I want to be there for you. I pray to God for the younger ones, the young men and the young women who think that they can disrespect their parents and do what they want and tell them what they want and disrespect the laws. I pray to God that you'll open their hearts, their eyes, their minds and help them to understand that you desire them to be obedient to their parents because once they're obedient, they will save themselves for so much trouble. We thank you for your love. We thank you for your mercy. But above all, I pray to God that everyone viewing will obey you as their father. We thank you for your love. We thank you for your mercy. And we thank you for hearing and answering our prayer. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. May God bless you.